That's so beautiful. Look at that. Wow. That's the best meteor shower I've ever seen. The sky is so clear tonight. Yes, Tiger Lily. You could even see the man in the moon. <laughs> I believe that's girl in the moon, Rupert. Oh, well, I suppose we should be going in. Let's wait until we see just one more shooting star. Okay, one more, for good luck. Look! I don't think this star knows where it's going to fall. It's coming this way. Wow, it's the brightest star tonight. Whoa, sorry! A star that talks? Whoa! It's the Sage of Um. <gasps> the Sage of what? No, the Sage of Um, Um Island. That's where he lives. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Hello, Sage! Oh, Tiger Lily, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I can't stay. I must go back to Um Island! Something's wrong, Rupert. He always stops to visit my father. They're very old friends. Maybe he's in some sort of trouble. I hope not, but you might be right. Come on, we'll use my father's magic. Will we really be able to see what's happening on Um Island? I hope so. I've never done this by myself before. The Island of Um. And there's the sage. It's... it's a unicorn. Um Island is the secret refuge of the last herd of unicorns. The sage is their protector. Stop! Do you hear? Leave him alone! What? What's happening? No! Get back! Run! Quick! Run! Oh, but something terrible is happening on our island! We have to help them! One for a cloud to make, the other for the wind to take. To the island of Um. Whoa! Rupert, look! The sage is flying Brella, but no sign of the sage. Rupert. I have a bad feeling. There is other magic at work on the island. Evil magic. Oh! What? What's happening? Oh! Hold on, Tiger Lily. Uh, ah! oh. Are you all right? Yes. came from over there. Rupert, we must be careful until we find out who or what is on this island. Look, the unicorns. They seem afraid of something. But what? I don't see anything. Do you? Yes! This way! For a second there, I thought we were in trouble. Perhaps you could put us down now? Please? Put us down this instant! Uh, what she means is, is we're, we're awfully sorry we bothered your, uh, bird, uh, cat, uh, a pet. See, you just have to be polite. First, you must answer to the great and powerful Enchanter. Then we'll see if my little pet would like to play. <laughs> what were you doing near my unicorns? Well, you see, sir... Those aren't your unicorns. They don't belong to anyone. Silence! 
I am the great and powerful enchanter. I demand silence! Perhaps if we all take a turn talking, then no one is interrupted and- Silence! You will give me the respect I deserve! Oh! Why, why you're just a boy. Don't call me that. I'm not a boy. I'm the great and powerful enchanter. Boy, huh. uh, I'll show you. I'd like to see any boy do that. You can't scare me with your little tricks. They are not tricks. It's the power of me, the master of Um Island! This isn't your island. You're trespassing here. What have you done with the sage? It's my island now. And, and I, I say, say you must, must bow, bow down, down to me. To bow down, down right, right now! now. Ugh, take them to their sage. The Enchanter has spoken! They're gonna be sorry. Once I have the unicorn's horns, then I'll be big. We'll see who gets the respect around here. I'll show them all. I'll be big. Rupert, there's no one here. I bet the sage used his magic to escape. Well, yes, escaping was foremost on my mind, but I seem to have made a, a, well, a slight miscalculation. Sage? Is that you? Well, um, yes, I'm afraid so. You see, I had intended to change into a butterfly, but, um, I wonder, would you be so kind? I need this pouch open, and I really could use a hand. <laughs> now, sprinkle a pinch of powder over me. Yes, that's it! <laughs> You're safe! Yes, but I'm afraid that still leaves us trapped in here. Fortunately, there's more than one way to... <laughs> skin a cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Who are you? Rupert Bear. Pleased to meet you. Ah, yes, you were with Tiger Lily when I flew past. I'm sorry I couldn't stop. The unicorns were in trouble. Why is the Enchanter after them? You see, the Enchanter is a boy who wants to grow up more than anything else. Everyone grows up eventually. All he has to do is wait. That's just it. He's the most impatient little boy I've ever met. Now, just because he's learned a few tricks, he thinks he knows everything. He believes there is magic that can make him grown up instantly, and he's convinced that this magic requires one special ingredient. The horns of the unicorns! Not their horns! He can't! And he won't! I won't let him! I'll use my magic to put a stop to this foolishness before it's too late! Stand back! Whoa, whoa! <laughs> whoa my that tickles! I... Uh, uh, aha! Ahem, yes, um, yes, here we are. And now, behold the golden path to freedom! <coughs> it looks more like the golden path of uh, dandelions. Hmm, yes, well, um, I'll, uh, <laughs> and I'll, I'll just have to weed out the proper pouch. <laughs> Aha! Yes, this is it, the purple one. And now, behold, the golden path to freedom. Oh, why am I always getting my magic dust mixed up? Oh, now, wait a minute. This is exactly what I'm looking for, my purple sock. Oh, the poor unicorns. <sighs> How will we ever get out of here? Perhaps if I squeeze through that crack, I might find a way out. Good idea, Rupert. There is one unicorn that has managed to avoid being captured. You must find her and keep her safe from the Enchanter until Tiger Lily and I can escape. Rupert, be careful. Don't worry, Tiger Lily. I'm always careful. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Rupert! 
Look for her in the big meadow! Now, I need the purple pouch. But... but they're all purple. Hmm, yes, bit of a nuisance, that. Well, uh, the purpler one. I mean, more purple than the others. You fool! Did you think I was going to just let you get away with this? You've been chasing that last unicorn for two days, and you still haven't caught it! I'm... I'm sorry, Master, but the unicorn is very swift, and I'm... well... Slow! I should turn you into a... a, a snail. snail! Forget about the last unicorn! Take the horns from the others! Now! Oh, no! This changes everything! You're frightened. So am I. But we have to try. But his griffin will catch us. Not if we work together. There must be something we can do. But we must hurry before the enchanter begins taking the unicorn's horns. <gasps> no, I can't. I can't. Wait! I need your help! Oh, I can't say I blame her. Just the thought of that beak. Oh, if only there were a way I could draw the griffin after me. The unicorns could escape and... Of course! Why didn't I think of it before? The sage's magic brella! Brellas shouldn't be that difficult to fly. Uh, uh, go! Wow! Nothing to it. Fly! Whoa! Phew! That's better. Now, turn around! Whoa! No, no, wait! Fly straight! Th that way! Ah! Aha! This is just what I've been looking for. My shrinking potion. Behold! Oh, we'll never get out of here. If only I hadn't mixed up my magic pouches, this wouldn't keep happening. Things are never as bad as they seem. You just need a little organization. A little anything would be a relief right now. Now, first we'll start by putting the not-so-purple pouches here, then the sort of purple ones over here, and the really purple pouches... Whoa! Sorry, but I am getting the hang of it. Just as I planned. Well, not everything. Up! 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 Get up, you idiot! They're getting away! Of course they're getting away, you fool! It's a trick! I'll teach that little bear a lesson! catch up with the unicorns now. Uh-oh. 
A little organization can certainly do wonders, Tiger Lily. Once we're out under the door, we can magically make ourselves big again with the dust from the purple pouch. Oh, but which one, Tiger Lily? Tiger Lily? This one! Let's hurry! Ready? One, two, three! I hope we're not too late. to do this together. I don't think even the two of us are a match for them. Maybe not, but all of us, together, can defeat them. you little upstart. That's enough of your mischievous magic for one day. Give that back! It's mine! Perhaps, but you'll only get it back when you deserve it, when you learn how to use it properly, when you grow up a little. But I'll never grow up without the magic potion. Silly little boy. There is no magic on Earth that could ever make you or anyone grow up. It's not true. You're... you're just saying that. No. Trust me, lad. I know a lot more about magic than you do. <laughs> then... then how will I ever grow like up? Like everyone else. Don't be in such a rush to grow up. It just takes time. You must be patient. <laughs> Something much more difficult for a boy of your age to learn than even magic. I... I know I've caused a lot of trouble for all of you. I'm sorry. Well, well, if I'm not mistaken, you've grown up by about this much already. I did? You know, Sage, since you're so awfully busy, maybe you could use some help taking care of the unicorns. Yes, yes, I suppose I could. Not to mention some help organizing your magic pouches, like... An apprentice? An apprentice? Now, that would be a treat. Hmm. Someone with experience in magic? Well, um, they'd have to be young and willing to learn. Of course! I've got an idea. Would you possibly consider... Yes, 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 and yes! <coughs> Splendid! Now, everyone stand back. I hereby appoint you... Apprentice to the Sage of Um. Yes, you'll do fine. 
Now, your first job as apprentice is to tend to the herd while I get these two back to Nutwood. You can count on me. Goodbye, Rupert. Tiger Lily, come back soon. Thank you! Whoa! Whoa! It was indeed a pleasure to meet you, Rupert. Thank you. I had a wonderful time. Do you suppose I might visit the unicorns again sometime? Of course. You're always welcome on the island of Um. Well, I must be going. Goodbye, Rupert. Whoa! I'll see you in school tomorrow, Rupert! Bye, Tiger Lily! There you are, Rupert. You better come in now. That's enough stargazing for one night. Guess where I've been, Mum? I'm at the Sage of Um, and there was this griffin, you know, sort of a lion and an eagle. Oh, dear. I hope it wasn't a very large one. Actually, it was really a rabbit who'd been put under a spell. He was keeping the unicorns captive. Unicorn? Yes, and oh, did I tell you? He flies in his upside-down umbrella. The griffin? No, the sage. Ooh. <laughs>